Hey guys, it's Big O here and I'm going to do another Instagram TV video and this time it's aimed at our female followers on here, okay? Um, basically guys, you're going to go through a cycle every month which is going to affect your gym performance. It's going to leave you feeling bloated at times. It's going to sap your strength at times. It's going to have you feeling like you could run through a brick wall at times if you feel that strong. It's going to affect your measurements, it's going to affect your mood, it's going to affect energy, it's going to affect cravings, it's going to affect a fuck ton because you have such a big physiological shift week to week and month to month that you can't expect to it just to be linear, guys, okay? So my advice to you is stop comparing week one to week two to week three to week four. Um, don't when your period lands don't compare it to the previous week I want you to try to compare to the month before okay so that means that you need to find an app you can get an app on your phone you can track it on paper you can keep track in your head if you know you've got a perfect four week cycle then ideal and um, if you've got a more a regular cycle then you can sort of you're gonna have to track a little bit better that's why I recommend using something like an app but basically, you need to know when you get measurements done, you do your scale weight, you do skin folds, whatever it is, you need to know what week of your cycle you're on. So that means that you can compare week one of August to week one of July to week one of June. So you can look back and see over those eight week gaps or four week gaps, whatever time frame you want to work in, that then you're making progress month to month rather than that week to week. Because basically, guys, what's going to happen is you're going to look at your results in terms of week four of your period when it comes to the previous week and that you're going to be a, maybe a kilo or two heavier you're going to maybe feel puffy and shit you're going to have skin folds affected now i think you still should take those measurements so you can compare them but i don't want you to get down over them okay so try to track them and try to compare them to the same time of your period the previous month, guys. It's pretty simple, but it's something that not a lot of coaches do. And guys, if you don't have a coach that you feel you can talk to this, talk about this stuff with, then they're missing a massive key. If they work with females and they're not addressing changes in physiology due to your time of month, which comes every month from puberty until the day you die, then they're missing an absolute massive part of the picture here so please find a coach you feel confident that can deal with this and also you feel comfortable talking about it with and start taking more accountability and tracking your own stuff guys if you need a hand with anything or you want some advice on different things you can do shoot me a message or drop a comment below and we will take it from there guys but you have a great day and i will speak to you soon.